I-V-B-N, the rich video blog network, Belwick, Massachusetts, home to weekly NFL predictions, top ten list of everything and anything, great personality profile, sports video blogs, professional wrestling video blogs, entertainment video blogs, and a whole lot more. I-V-B-N, Belwick, Massachusetts. Good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Google+. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog subject for, for Tuesday, for Monday, October 24th, 2016, around 5.13 in the afternoon in Belica, Massachusetts. Sunny day out today in the mid 50s, but it's going to get progressively cooler in the days ahead. It could be only in the mid 40s for high temperatures Wednesday and Thursday. So bundle up. Some news to report on the RVBN news. Why? Do 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 do. Jets quarterback Geno Smith tore his ACL and his knee. The season's over, so Ryan Fitzpatrick will be again the starting quarterback for the New York Jets. Also, the Toronto Blue Jays extended qualifying office to two of their free agents, outfielder um, Jose Batista and um, DH first baseman Edwin Acacion, but they're going to reject it, and they're going to be free agents, and I think Edwin Acacion or Jose Batista would look good as the designated hitter for the Boston Red Sox. And sad news to report, in the world of Hollywood, actor singer Bobby V passed away at the age of 73. So prayers to his family in this time of need. And that's about it on the RVBN News. Why? Be back in a flash. I'm back. My second video blog subject of the day is about the 2016 World Series preview and prediction. Tomorrow night, the World Series begins at Progressive Field in Cleveland when the National League champions, the Chicago Cubs, face off against the Cleveland Indians, the champions of the American League. And all seven games will be televised on Fox. Calling the action will be Joe Bach and John Smoltz with Ken Rosenthal and Tom Vertucci conducting sideline interviews. Aaron Andrews will not be doing sideline interviews because her new Fox contract states she only does the NFL. That's a bummer. Wish they would have a female um, female reporter for the baseball games for the World Series because that could generate rating. I know who would, I would love to see do it, but I won't mention her name because you know who it is anyway. Uh, speaking about the World Series, how these teams got there, the Cleveland Indians beat the Boston Red Sox in the Division Series, swept them in three games, and then they beat the Toronto Blue Jays four games to one to win the American League pennant for the first time since 1997. And in the National League, the Chicago Cubs beat the San Francisco Giants four, three games to one in the Division Series, and then they beat the Los Angeles Dodgers four games to two in the National League Championship Series. And this is the first time that the Chicago Cubs are going to the World Series since 1945. That's 71 years. And the Cleveland Indians and Chicago Cubs have the two longest droughts for a World Series Championship. The Indians have 68 years. The last time they won it was 1948. And the Chicago Cubs, 108 years. Last time they won it was in 1908. And the Indians have home field advantage in this series because 
the American League won the All-Star game, but they should get rid of that stipulation. In my humble opinion, they should have whoever has the best record in all of baseball remaining get home field advantage, in my humble opinion. And managing the uh, Cleveland Indians is Terry Francona, his fourth season with the Indians, and managing the Cubs, Joe Mad Madden, who is in his second season managing the Cubs. And this World Series is going to be played in two cold weather cities, but they said that temperatures are going to be average, so there'll be no chances of cold rain or snow. And a lot of people are having the advantage that the Chicago Cubs, because they have the best record in baseball this year, and they, their offense is loaded, especially with Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo and Jason Hayward and Dexter Fowley as their offense. And they have an awesome pitching staff with Jake Ariana Etta and Kyle Hendricks and jo um, John Lester and John Lackey and they have good bullpen headed by Alasso Chapman. The Cleveland Indians pitching staff is pretty good as well. Corey Kluber leads it. And they have some offensive players like um, Mike Napoli and Coco Chris, but they have a great reliever in Andrew Miller. He's the setup guy, but he's been having an awesome postseason in the bullpen, and he's kind of unhittable um, this postseason. So, this World Series could be decided on the bullpen. And it, this World Series is very, very tough to predict. I think it could go six or seven games, and it's going to be a high rated World Series because the Cubs aren't in it. Probably going to be one of the highest World Series in recent memory. And I bet Game 5, there's going to be a Game 5 because this this World Series is could go to distance. It's probably going to be Sunday Night Football on NBC in the ratings this, this year. And I think this World Series is going to come down to the pitching and the bullpen, in my humble opinion. And I think the, the, the World Series will go a full seven games. But in the end, I think the Cleveland Indians are going to win the World Series because they have home field advantage. And Andrew Miller has been just amazing. He's been unstoppable. And I think... He's going to just somehow shut down the uh, Cubs bats when he's when he's pitching. And the Cleveland Indians are going to win the first World Series in 68 years. And it will be the second, um, well actually the third championship Cleveland has won this year because of the NBA championship, the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the AHL championship. American Hockey League by the Cleveland L Lake, the Cleveland Monsters. There won't be a fourth, a fourth like World Championship for Cleveland. They can't complete the Grand Slam because the Cleveland Browns suck. And I think um, this World Series will put Terry Francona into the Hall of Fame because it won three World Championships. And it will be a select few managers who's won t world championships managing two teams. And I think the MVP of the World Series is going to be Andrew Miller. So, the Tribe in seven. And that's about it on that. I will be back with the third and final video blog of the night, which will be about the top ten moments in the Federation years for the WWWF slash WWF. And keep calm, everybody. And I'm a Julie Button guy. J Julie Button is a big Chicago Cubs fan because she worked in Chicago for a few years. 
Molly Walshblatt of WCCL Locks and has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so stunning. She's the best. L- Elizabeth Hot's also a Chicago Cup fan because she grew up in Peoria, Illinois. And Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel 11 in New York is a locking cougar and has got nice legs. The best in New York City. And Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And the best legs in Raleigh, North Carolina. And in the words of Dickie Ackroyd, unit director of the Boys and Girls Club of Great America, the more the merrier. See you later.